Yo, what's going on boys? I'm gonna be playing this fake expo deck on ladder today. If you enjoy the video, please make sure to like and sub. Just gonna hop right in and see when I find a game. Alright, I got a game. I haven't done this in a minute and you guys seem to enjoy it a lot when I did it. So just let me know in the comments if you like to see um this kind of content once in a while. Anyways, facing Issa, he's one of the best P.E.K.K.A. players in the world. So I have to kind of be careful. Definitely not gonna be an easy opponent. Gonna... Skelly's in the back. He's actually playing Pekka Lightning. It's a triple spell with like Barbaro, Snowball, and Lightning. So it's a really good matchup. But if I make one mistake on defense, I might lose the whole game. So I have to kind of watch out. Also, I think the matchup's a bit worse compared to when I have Expo. But I mean, that's a no brainer because I have an RG and he's got a Pekka. So matchup's automatically worse. But I'll try my best to win this. I'm going to Ice Spirit over here to not let that bandit dash onto my um, Tesla. Just to kind of keep it alive for the Ewiz, or in this case the Ram Rider. He played it in front of the King, so I probably could have gone for like a RG opposite, but don't really feel safe doing it. He would have just dropped a Pekka when he had enough, so definitely would not have been a good play. Gonna Arches in the back to cycle. If he doesn't make a play, I'm definitely gonna like Knight on the left here to force some Elixir out and then go RG on the right side. Um, That way he's not gonna have enough for Pekka right away, but he's definitely gonna drop it once he has enough, so worth a shot, I guess. I mean, I should be able to defend it if I just kind of like split his Elixir. The one archer on the left should kind of like DPS down the baby dragon, so I might not have to respond to it, but who knows. Got some damage both on the left side and the right side, but I'm mainly going to be focusing on the right side. Don't really want to go for the opposite lane just yet, but there's a really good high spirit on the bandit, also distracting the baby dragon from getting a hit on my tower. Gonna arch just low, um, like this, so the packet doesn't go to my tower. Could try to go for like a ram rider right about now, but I can just drop a knight and then log it. Where I can log first to not take the um, charge and then go for a knight once it locks on my tower. But I feel like I'm fine at this point. Um, since he played it now, I'm going to log over here. Just get back to my Tesla and then play the Tesla in the middle. He's up a lot of elixir, but it's okay. Can't really get any damage at the moment. Not unless he goes for like a peck in the back and then builds up a really good push. But I should be fine by then because I'll have my elixir back. Honestly, all I need is like 10 elixir. I can just go for like knight, archers, and then Tesla in the middle. That's going to defend like all the cards in the deck, so... No arches in the back here. Kind of want to fireball this, but I'm not going to. Might be an overcommit. Don't really want to lose to like an overcommit fireball, so. Tesla in the middle. Okay, I'm definitely going to take that fireball though, because I need to get back to my skellies as well, so. There's a really good fireball on the Ewas. Might go for like a P.E.K.K.A. on the right side here. Let's see. Okay, um, I'm kind of lost here. I don't know what to do, but I guess I'm just going to like arches in the back and then knight in the back and stuff. I'm going to knight here actually to protect my archer. Don't want to let her die. She's definitely going to finish off that baby dragon. Okay, never mind. Goes for P.E.K.K.A. So I have to kind of watch out here. I'm definitely going to have to like fireball on defense. I'm going to do this. Also going to do this to save my archer. I'm going to knight on defense as well. Um, the baby dragon hopefully locks on the knight here. Okay, nice. Um, if it didn't lock on the knight, it would have just like stayed on there and the archer would have died first. So I Tesla it anyway, so I don't think it would have mattered. But still, it's better to kind of like keep it alive, I guess. I'm going to arches on defense. I'm back to a second set. So I'm going to log over here to not take any damage from the Ewas and the Ram Rider. That was some pretty good defense. I feel like at this point, if I just defend the whole game, he's not going to be able to win the game. Already up like 1800 damage. It's not easy to come back from. Goes for P.E.K.K.A. in the back. That was a really good P.E.K.K.A. in the back because if I go RG into it, I would not get any damage. He would play it. He was on top of it and then go for like a snowball or something. And the P.E.K.K.A. would have like gotten up by then. So probably would have gotten like max like one hit tops. But yeah, definitely would not have been worth it. Feeding a whole RG to a P.E.K.K.A. Kind of a bad test. I was hoping the um, Ice Spirit would hit the Ram Rider. But I kind of messed up there. But anyways, I'm back to Archer. So I don't really think I'm going to take any damage. Okay, that was some really good defense. Wow. I thought I was going to take a lot of damage here. But I got back to a Tessa and a Knight. He also went for like an opposite lane pressure. I feel like it would have been better if he went same lane. Because I would have had to like play the Knight on top of the P.E.K.K.A. Probably would have panicked too. But tried to go for like opposite lane pressure. But it didn't work out. I'm going to Archer's in the back. I'm um, just going to try to like, I don't know, chip him out eventually and then play some defense as well. I feel like the game's over unless I make a huge mistake on defense, which I hope I don't. I'm um, going to Arches again. Arches have some insane DPS. So I'm not really worried about this defense on the right side. I'm going to Fireball over here. Also going to Log. Um, kind of wish I could save my Archers, but I don't want to play a Knight into a whole P.E.K.K.A. So I'm going to Knight like this. Also going to do this and then Arches load and not let that Ram Rider sneak onto my tower. I'm going to Tessa in the middle. Also going to do this to keep my Knight alive for like a bit longer. Not that it matters, but I just want to not choke the game at this point. Um, Knight over here. Also going to um, Tesla again because I yeah I had a feeling he would lightning. That was also like the first lightning. Okay, what was that? I don't know if it's just me, but the Ram Rider kind of took like a weird path. It was supposed to go to my Tesla, but it actually went to my tower. So maybe I misplaced the Tesla. 
Not really sure, but it doesn't matter at this point. It's four seconds left. He's back to the second lightning, but it doesn't matter. The game's over. That was a pretty easy win, especially when I got the damage in single. So I just kind of knew like I could play some defense and just stall out the game. Um, so yeah, pretty easy first game. See you when I find a game. 43, yo, that's some insane trophy. All right, I got a game. Facing Fino Final Form. This guy plays Giant Sparky Mirror with a mini P.E.K.K.A. He doesn't have a Skarmie, so it's kind of bad for me because he can go for like a Giant in the back and uh, Sparky behind it and try to go for like a Mirror Sparky opposite lane just to um, not let me go RG opposite lane. Not really sure if that made sense, but he's got a lot of options here. I'm just kind of stuck defending the whole game unless he makes like a huge misplay, which I hope he does because I don't really know how to win this matchup if not. Um, definitely gonna have to play some stressful defense here. I'm um, gonna do this. Also gonna knight over here. I'm gonna have to fireball log. It's not really gonna be able to hoard right now, so feel pretty safe doing this. Also gonna ice spirit over here. Um, okay, it jumps, but it actually did not freeze the Sparky, so that's kind of bad. But it's okay. The Skellies kind of came in clutch. Good thing I cycled my Skellies first, because if I played a knight first, I would have gotten back to a knight, and I would not be able to play the knight on top of the Sparky. I had two elixir at max, so would have taken like a Sparky hit and possibly some bats damage. Because I know there are some bats on the field, so... Once again, that was kind of lucky I played my skellies first. Um, see what he does here. Okay, go start sparking on the opposite lane. So I'm going to um, RG opposite. Because I feel like he's not going to be able to mirror the sparky. And he's definitely not back to the mini pack. He might be back now, but he wasn't back. So his only option was to like play a horde on it. I went for a fireball, so I got a lot of damage. Um, so once again, just like last game, I got um, a lot of damage. I can just kind of like play some defense and spell cycle. It's going to be a lot harder in this game though because I kind of need my spells on defense. going to um, Skelly's low here because he might go for like a prediction zap. Yeah, I had a feeling he would do it. So I get this question a lot. Why do you not play the Skelly's on top of the Sparky to kind of surround it? Because um, sometimes they want to go for like prediction zap and like arrows and stuff. And that would not be optimal if they hit it. You definitely take like a um, free Sparky hit. So once again, you don't want to take that damage. I'd rather just like kind of play it low. Um, and try to get back to a second thing than to surround it because once again like getting predicted on the zap is like the worst feeling ever um, Go start sparking the back. You might mirror it opposite lane if I had to guess Because um, probably thinks I'm gonna go opposite lane like last time. Yeah, there it is This guy's kind of slow I'm not gonna lie because why would I go opposite lane when there's like 4k on the tower? It's definitely not a good play for me, but Doesn't matter because this push is actually gonna be really hard to defend um, he got really good arrows there, that was kind of my fault, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to knight over here, also going to ice spirit to kind of freeze the sparky. Might take a hit on the right side, but I'm just kind of focusing on the left here to not take a hit on the left. Um, actually, I'll take a mini pack of hit on the left. Okay, doesn't matter. Sparky should die. I kind of split up my damage pretty evenly. I mean, one sparky hit did like, what, 1800-ish something, but mini pack does like half of that, so not really a split. He might go same lane this time. Dude, this guy's so predictable. He went same lane Sparky because um, last time he went opposite, I didn't really go in. So he thought I was not going to go in this time either. So he just went same lane. Um, got a really good fireball on it. So I'm just like two fireballs away. Going to knight on the Sparky. Um, went for prediction arrows on my archers. Okay, that was kind of stupid. I'm not going to lie. If he didn't arrows there, he would have gotten like a lot of damage there. Because all he had to do was like wait for my archers and then drop the arrows on top of my archers to get a lot of damage. But... He gave me an option to spell cycle now, so I'm just gonna fireball here. Also gonna test on the middle. Just try to get back to my fireball as soon as I can. I'm gonna log over here. Um, Ice spirit over here. Skellies. I'm one card off fireball, so just back to it. I'm gonna play it on the tower and win the game. Um, I want to say that's not my matchup because he has a lot of counters for my um, RG, but kind of got him good in single. All he had to do was leak, but he actually played a Sparky in the back, so GG's. Alright, I got a game facing all day of Vargas. Oh, this guy's playing Gob Giant Double Prince. I think I faced him last night. I was kind of having fun on ladder with like giant skelly hog and I'm kind of made it close. It was like 40 HP, but won the game. So should have a better matchup here. So I'm definitely going to be able to win this. Um, I don't want to get too cocky and choke the game though, but I just have to kind of wait till he cycles like a lot of princess. Um, by a lot, I mean like both of his princess. I don't even know why I said a lot, but I just need to wait till he cycles like a prince in the back and like goes through like a dark prince opposite lane. So I can just kill them and then um, RG. I also need to kind of watch out for the bats because they might DPS my RG down. So I'm not going to go in unless I have my log and archers in hand with the RG. Um, that's for later to worry about though because I'm not going to go in in single. So I'm going to Ice Spirit here. He's back to bats so I might play the bats on top of the Ice Spirit. Never mind. Takes a damage. So just going to split archers. Um, he's not really making a play. So don't really want to go in yet. Um, 
but i'm gonna knight the back here definitely not gonna go in i don't want to choke the game because he just gets like a free prince on the rg and he goes like gob giant in front of it and uh, possibly bats or something because i won't be back to my archers so i just played them in the back so that would actually be a really good push but let's see what he does here um okay he actually goes opposite lane that's what i was waiting for um so he finally went in i'm just gonna defend this and then try to go for like a rg and like a knight in front to um, kind of tank for the rg also gonna go for like i don't know archers to dps on the bats like i said i would um but to have enough for all of that i have to kind of like knight in the middle first so i'm gonna knight like this um by the time it walks up definitely gonna rg behind it and then try to play ice spirit to get back to my archers i should be back to it by then so let's see um yeah i'm gonna do this thankfully i'm back to them so i feel like he can't do anything his only option is like a tower trade but hopefully he's not smart enough for that okay he's definitely defending so he's not gonna be able to tower trade me kind of makes me feel happy because um might go gob giant here and i'm definitely gonna be able to defend it because double elixir so i can just log over here i'm gonna test on the middle um goes for spare gobs i'm definitely gonna knight on top of the spare gobs oh god okay will i defend this actually uh not looking very good but i'm gonna fireball over here also gonna like ice spirit for the um gob giant spare gobs okay that was actually kind of clean i'm not gonna lie kind of panicked there for a bit because i saw a lot of things with the gob giant but the fireball kind of did a good job cleaning up so that's in the middle he might go in again but i have a lot of defense in hand so i'm not really worried about any of this I'm gonna log over here also gonna knight might go for like a fireball because i mean that's a really good fireball on the knight and the tesla so it's kind of my fault for giving him like a good fireball but it doesn't matter don't really think i had an option there i could have played the knight on top of the prince or i could have played it on the gob giant but decided to play it on the gob giant to kind of dps it down it doesn't matter i took some damage from the spare gobs but he's not gonna be able to come back from this there's like eight seconds left so he can try but yeah that's pretty much gg kind of feels good beating that even though i had a really good matchup because that deck's kind of annoying but pretty easy game once again um see how much i get from that 34 i'll take it see when i find a game all right i got a game facing drogos see what this guy's playing i'm gonna ice spirit on the right side to cycle um name kind of sounds like a beat down player name oh there it is love in the back first play so gonna arches in the back same lane I'm kind of glad I don't have an RG because if I did, I probably would have went opposite lane and lost the whole game. He would have been able to like play a eye drag on top of it. And I didn't have an eye spirit because I cycled it on the right side, so that would have been terrible. But I'm gonna knight over here to kind of save my archers. That was kind of bad. I played it late, so the archers took a hit, but I don't think it matters. He's not gonna be able to um get any damage here. Could try to go for like a balloon opposite lane, but I'm back to archers, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, see what he does here though. Okay, I was going to RG in the back, but then he played balloon, so gonna archers here that should not get a hit even if it does i don't really mind because i'm gonna go rg here to get my damage back okay thankfully it didn't but um he does have a skarmy right now so i have to kind of watch out um he goes for idrax so he's not gonna be able to play a skarmy but i guess like what three hits so not bad definitely got some damage i'm happy with that damage for now but kind of wish i had my eye spirit in hand if i did that would have been like a lot more damage doesn't matter though um might go lava in the back again he's got to go for like a lava in the back and then try to go balloon behind it um fireball my archers and then try to kill my tesla somehow but I'm not just gonna sit there and watch him do all of that i'm definitely gonna try to get back to like second set of everything but gonna prediction logger for this army well that was not a prediction um well it kind of was a prediction but i played it late so didn't really matter i'm gonna archers here to kind of like bait out the fireball so i can play tesla on the lava hound if he goes for like a balloon i can definitely try to get back to second set of archers but i don't really think he will gonna ice spirit like this to freeze the minions also gonna do this back to knights i'm gonna knight over here to kind of tank for the pups and the minions tesla should take care of all of that i should not take any more damage from that okay that's some pretty good defense but i can't go in opposite lane because i cycled my ice spirit once again um i don't really have an option though i needed it for defense so i had to do it but wait actually i feel like i can still go in i'm gonna do this also gonna archers here because um he might go for like an eye drag on top of it so i'm gonna do this i um, definitely gonna take that fireball and i'm gonna log like right away because he might go for like a scar me on this um okay wow nice good scar me dude <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> okay i i have no idea what that was supposed to be but that was a really stupid scar me just played it opposite lane maybe he had like a finger slip or something but yeah that was super funny though that's over here to make a lock onto the balloon okay it actually locked on the lava hound but i don't think it matters oh my god the knockback um nerf is actually kind of noticeable i'm not gonna lie archer's on defense also gonna knight over here to not take any damage from the pups um goes for eye drag but he's not gonna be able to come back from this it's like 15 seconds left so i'm just gonna test over here to kind of make sure i don't lose the whole tower um even if i did i feel like i would have been able to come back 
um, even in like a two tower situation because it's not playing that great at the moment so two seconds left um it was just kind of funny to see that skarmy opposite lane i mean even if he played it on top of my rg i would have hit the prediction log so it was not gonna matter all right i got a game on to my last game definitely gonna end the video after this I think i played like five games so should be enough I'm gonna arches in the back to cycle Let's see what this guy's playing tombstone okay um looking like splash shared or lava if i get lava again that'd actually be really good because it's an insanely good matchup it's like the best matchup we can get with this deck so plays a baby dragon definitely not looking like lava he's playing splash shard so gonna have to watch out this matchup's kind of weird like i have a really good matchup in single but in double he hard counters me like i can't do anything defense is so much easier for him in double and he can just kind of like constantly go in back to back and i'm kind of like stuck defending so pop the ability there but the animation went off the ability actually did not go off so probably got his elixir back assuming he did he's at like three elixir right now so he might be able to go for like a tombstone definitely gonna log it though um see what he does here yeah just go for it on top of the rg so i'm gonna log over here to get a lot of damage might go for like a barb barrel now but yeah he's at two elixir so he's not gonna be able to do anything um could try to go for like a nato back but rg's already dead so that was some insane damage i could try to get back to rg and just go in but i don't want to overcommit at this point already got a lot of damage so i'll play some defense and then try to go in later on but right now he's got like skelly king baby dragon poison and graveyard so he might go for like a baby dragon in the back um skelly's in the back to cycle kind of want to go in again to be honest but he's one card off ice Wiz, so i don't really want to do it could try to get back to ice Wiz and just try to play like a what do you call it a tombstone on top of my rg of course i would log it but it would not get any damage gonna test a high over here to kind of dps down the um skelly king wanted to play it on the left here because if i played it on the right side the ice Wiz would have um been able to kill my tesla so i'm gonna log over here to finish off the skellies from that ability kind of a poor ability it didn't really do anything i think he meant to like kill my tesla but tesla kind of stayed alive killing half of like that baby dragon so i can just ice spirit over here to not take any damage from that um kind of want to go in again i think i'm going to go in like this I'm gonna put my knight in front so um the tower locks on the knight for a bit kind of saving some hp on my rg i'm gonna do this um okay he might go for like a tombstone on top of the rg oh god okay probably should have waited for that but since i didn't the rg is not gonna get a hit good thing is that he's not gonna be able to um go in here because he had to play some defense with the ice whiz but just kind of goes for like a poison when he had enough not bad though um that's definitely a good play because i can't punish him for it all i can do is like fireball him back so definitely gonna go for like a fireball here um might go opposite lanes so have to kind of watch out Goes for Skelly King behind his tower. If I played the Fireball on top of the tower, I probably would have hit it, but it doesn't matter. I can just kind of DPS it down like this. Also going to Ice Spirit over here to kind of freeze both of them. Okay, I actually kind of missed the um, Ice Spirit. I didn't really miss, but it just kind of failed to freeze all of them, so that was kind of bad. Um, I hope he doesn't pop the ability. Oh god, okay, that was kind of stressful. But I am still going to take a lot of damage here, though, because I've got a super awkward cycle. So I'm going to have to play the Archers on top of the Poison to kind of mitigate all the damage. Oh my god, that was so much damage. Like, I knew I was going to take a lot of damage, but that was, like, an insane amount of damage. Might be back in the game with that. Actually, yeah, he's definitely back in the game with that, because I knew he was going to go in again. Yep, there it is. He knew I was not back to Archer, so he just kind of went in. Um, definitely a good graveyard, but this is what I was talking about. Like, I'm just kind of forced to defend, um, or forced to kind of, like, defend the whole game now. Can't really go in, because if I do, he's not going to take any damage. He has some pretty good defense, but worth a shot i'm um, gonna rg here okay might go for like a tombstone or something so i'm gonna fireball the ice boost to not let it hit my um rg got a hit on it anyways so that was kind of unfortunate but i'm gonna log over here to kind of finish off the um skelly king and the skellies from that tombstone okay that was kind of bad skelly king kind of lives so he might go in with this if he does he's gonna get a lot of damage i feel like i lost the game now but i might have to fireball cycle from this point on definitely gonna play a fireball on that baby dragon normally i would have been able to like knock it opposite lane but since they nerfed the fireball i'm not gonna be able to do that anymore so i have to kind of toss over here to not let it cross um if i let that tank for the graveyard i would have taken like a lot of damage so definitely would not have been a good play but gonna you know, skelly's low also gonna log over here okay the log hit nothing i kind of panicked with that but it's okay i'm gonna fireball over here i have to kind of go for like a fireball cycle now going for like a rg is not gonna be healthy at this point so gonna ice bird over here to kind of freeze the um skelly king but i actually jumped on the barb rail so it's kind of unfortunate wait i have to rg over here to kind of keep that baby dragon on this spot if i let that cross he would have gone in so that would not have been a good play so i just kind of wanted to go in also kind of stalls out like a bit of time so not bad i'm gonna do this also gonna archer's high over here to kind of dps on the baby dragon right now played all his spells so he's not gonna be able to um kill my archers anytime soon gonna log over here oh god okay uh fireball also gonna ice spirit over here to 
kind of mitigate the damage hopefully i feel like i lost wait no i won okay back to fireball so i'm gonna log over here also gonna fireball um that was a super close game but i feel like that was not my matchup in double and triple so if you enjoyed the video please make sure to like and sub gonna end the video there um love you guys bye peace